Hi, this video will show you how to use Euler's method to solve a first order differential equation numerically. The video consists of three parts. First, an introduction, followed by the examples, and then a demonstration of using cow function in casual FX991 ES to solve a first order differential equation with Euler's method. Let's begin with the introduction. What is Euler's method? It is a numerical method to solve a first order differential equation dy dx equal to f of xy with initial value x equal to x0, y equal to y0. How do we implement Euler's method? Given y prime equal to f of xy and the initial value y of x0 equal to y0, we can obtain the next value of x and y by using the following iteration x sub n plus 1 equal to x sub n plus h, y sub n plus 1 equal to y sub n plus h times f of x sub n y sub n, where h is a step size. What does it mean? The formula is written in red above here. You start with x0, y0, the initial value. Then x1 is equal to x0 plus h. And y1 will be equal to y0 plus h times f of x0, y0. And then you can find the next value of x and y. So you start with x1, y1, you can find out what is x2 now. So x2 is equal to the existing value with x1 plus h using the formula given here. And y2 is equal to y1 plus h times f of x1, y1. Using this, we continue to find x3, y3, x4, y4, and eventually, you get the answer. Let's look at an example. Use Euler's method to solve y prime equal to x times 1 plus y, given that when x equal to 1, y equal to 2. Find the value of y when x equal to 1.2 with step size 0 0.1. Before we continue, let's interpret the notation first, so this means dy dx equal to x times 1 plus y. y bracket 1 equal to 2 means when x equal to 1, y equal to 2. This is how we interpret the functional notation. This value 1 here means the value of x. It says that y depends on x. When x equal to 1, the value of y is 2. So this is the initial value of x and y. The step size is 0 0.1, means that we're going to increase the value of x from 1 to 1.1 and then 1.2. So this is how we know the value of x is 1.1, next, and then 1.2. Now, let's compare Euler's method and the example side by side. In Euler's method, y prime is equal to f of xy. In our example, y prime is x times 1 plus y. So, f of xy is equal to x times 1 plus y here. And in Euler's method, the initial value is x0, y0. And in our example, the initial value is x equal to 1, y equal to 2. In the Euler's method, the step size is h. In our example, the step size is 0 0.1. From here, that means x0 is 1, y0 is 2. We have starting with n equal to 0, x0 is equal to 1, y0 is equal to 2. Find x1, y1. Let's Look at the solution here. 
x1 according to the formula on top is x0 plus h. x0 is equal to 1, h is 0 0.1, so there's 1.1. Now you're going to find out what is y1. So y1 is equal to y0 plus h times f of x0 y0, where y0 is equal to 2, h is equal to 0 0.1, f of x0 y0, x0 is 1, y0 is 2. Now, what is f of 1, 2? We know that f of x, y is x times 1 plus y in our question. So f 1, 2 put x equal to 1, y equal to 2, we get 3. So that means this is equal to 2 plus 0 0.1 times 3, and that is 2.3. So that means I know this value is 2.3 for y1. Next, what is x2, y2 now? Starting with x1 equal 1.1, y1 is 2.3, x2 is equal to x1 plus h, which is x1 is 1.1, h is 0 0.1, so give me 1.2. So y2 is equal to y1 plus h f x1 y1. And y1 we know is 2.3, h is 0 0.1, f of x1 is 1.1, y1 is 2.3. We know that f of xy is x times 1 plus y. So that means f of 1.1, 2.3 is equal to 1.1 times 1 plus 2.3. That means 1.1 times 3.3. This is equal to 3.63. So you have 2.3 plus 0 0.1 times 3.63, this is equal to 2.663. So I know the value of y2 now is 2.663. And so we have answered the question. When x equal to 1.2, y is equal to 2.663, estimated by using Euler's method. Now. Let's try to use a calculator to implement Euler's method. The calculator has a special function called cal, which is very useful for this numerical method. First, we know Euler method says x of sub n plus 1 equal to x of sub n plus h, where h is a step size, and y of sub n plus 1 equal to y of sub n plus h f of x sub n y sub n. In our example, we have f of x y equal to x times 1 plus y in example. Apply this, we get y sub n plus h x sub n 1 plus y sub n. Now in our example, h is equal to 0 0.1. So y of x sub n plus 1 equal to y n plus 0 0.1 x sub n 1 plus y sub n. Basically, you have to use a existing value of x and y to get new value of x and new value of y. Here are the step-by-step -step demonstration of how to set the calculator to solve first order ODE using Euler's method. Step number one, set the number of decimal place you want to display. For example, if I want my calculator to display four decimal place, this is what you do. First, you do a setup, shift, setup. Then select fix. Then enter the number of decimal place you want to display four. Next, you're going to enter the formula for a new y. You know, 
value of sub n plus 1 equal to y sub n plus 0 0.1 times x sub n times 1 plus y sub n. Translated into a formula, it means the new y is using the existing y plus 0 0.1 times x times 1 plus y for this particular example. Let's enter. You must enter y using the alpha, alpha y plus 0 0.1 alpha x open a bracket 1 plus alpha y close the bracket next you're going to press the cow button so the cow button is here press cow now it prompts you for the value of y so this is the fourth step now enter the existing value of x and y when prompted Press equal to confirm. To get the value of x1 and y1, you need to enter the value of x is equal to 1, y equal to 2. Calculator prompt y. So I entered 2 for value of y equal. And x is equal to 1 equal. So that means the new value of y is 23 over 10 converted to decimal place. 2.3. So y1 is 2.3, x1 is 1.1. Let's continue with x1 equal 1.1, y1 equal 2.3, define x2 and y2. So I use a calculator. The way to handle this is continue to press cow. Cow. The ask you for a value of y. The y value is 2.3 now. You can either enter 2.3 or press answer. This is the value of y equal. And what is the value of x? The value of x is 1.1. .1. So you press 1.1, .1, then equal. So that means the new value of y converted to decimal place is 2.1. 663. So you can write x2 is equal to x1 plus h, which is 1.1 plus 0.1 is 1.2, and y2 is 2.663. Alright, so I can say x equal to 1.2, y2.663. You can continue the process. What happens when x equal to 1.3? The next value of y, y3 is how much? So use my calculator again. Press calculate. The value of y is 2.663. You can type 2.663 or press answer. Equal. The value of x is 1.2 now. You press 1.2 so converted to decimal place is 3.1026 so that means x3 is 1.3 y3 is 3.1026 okay let's use the existing value of x and y to find what happened when x equal 1.4 and x equal 1.5 so, to evaluate the value of y when x equals 1.4, let's calculate. The existing value of y is 3.1026. We can press answer equal. The existing value of x is 1.3. We press 1.3 equal. And we find that the new value of y is 3.6359. So, 3 decimal place is 3.636. Next, let's try to figure out the next value of y when x equals 1.5. Press calculate. The existing value of y is 3.6359. Or you press answer. 
equal and the existing value of x is 1.4 1.4 equal so you get the new value of y is 4.2849 or 4.285 in three decimal place This finish the demonstration using the calculator to solve the first order differential equation with Euler's method.